Hello everyone, welcome to the Portal 7. Today we will know about some hidden features and tricks in Windows 11. We're going to start with features that are brand new to Windows 11 and then. We'll continue on to features that have been around for a while, but just aren't that well known. Let's check these. Let's start with Start menu as we click on Start icon. We can access some apps. We can search from here any app by name. Except that we can click on all apps from here, and we can open any app. But if we have a long list of apps, and we want to navigate any app faster, then click on any character. As we click on a character then we can see full alphabet. Now click on the first letter of your app which you want to open. For example I click on S letter for settings, now I can see list of apps which start with letter S. This way we can navigate apps faster. Normally we do left click on start icon which opens start menu, but instead of left click, if we do right click then we see this hidden start menu. We can see all important control panel functions here like task manager, run, network connections, disk management etc. We can access it by pressing Windows plus X keys together. In Windows 10 Task Manager were easy to access. Right click on Taskbar then we could see the Task Manager. But in Windows 11 it's little deep. To access Task Manager faster, shortcut key is Ctrl plus Shift plus S. Except that we can press Windows plus X and we can see Task Manager in this list too. Sometimes we like clear desktop. Suppose we are doing screen recording then we don't want to see desktop icons. To hide desktop icons, right-click on desktop, choose view in this list, and then click on show desktop icons. This way we can hide or unhide desktop icons. Next feature is spatial sound, but it's off by default, so we have to manually activate it. For that, go to settings, click on sound, Click on Speakers and find Enhance Audio and make it on. Now click on Advanced. In this speaker's dialog box, click on Spatial Sound and choose Windows Sonic for headphones in drop-down. Click Apply and OK. This way we can enhance headphones audio quality. Next feature is storage cleanup. To make some extra space and delete unnecessary files from your Windows drive, just go settings, then storage and you'll get graphic representations of your drive's space, just like phone. Windows gives recommendations that you can delete certain files. You can check, uncheck from recycle bin, downloads, thumbnail, temporary files. Then click on remove files. This way you can make some extra space for your operating system drive. Next feature is night light. Night light is designed to protect our eyes from blue light. It was located in Action Center in Windows 10. That was easy to access, but in Windows 11 we don't have Action Center. So we have to access it manually. For that, Right-click on Desktop and choose Display Settings. Then you can make Night Light on or off. You can also set time for Night Light from here. In Windows 10 and older versions we have Copy-Paste option. Ctrl plus C for Copy and Ctrl plus V for Paste. But in Windows 11 we have multiple copy and selective paste option. Let's take an example. Suppose we have to do copy paste, then we do it normal way Ctrl plus C for copy, and then Ctrl plus V to paste in another document. But in Windows 11 we can copy multiple text same time. Like this. Nightlight Ctrl plus C. Taskbar setting Ctrl plus C. Task manager Ctrl plus C. Now to paste it in another document, instead of pressing Ctrl plus V, we will press Windows plus V. You have to make it on at first time use. Now when we press Windows plus V then we see all copied option. From this we can select which one to paste. 
This way we can copy multiple text at same time and paste selectively. To make screenshot of entire desktop, we press Windows plus print screen key together. But if we want to take snapshot for specific area, then go to apps and choose snipping tool. Then we click on new and draw an area to capture. To make this screenshot taking process faster, we have to do some change in settings. Open settings. Choose accessibility, then click on keyboard. Now make on. Use the print screen button to open screen snipping. And close it now. Now when we press print screen key then it opens directly. And we have option to capture screen hit for specific area. This way we can make this process faster. Next feature is steps recorder. Suppose you want to help a friend with a computer problem. And you want to document the steps that he should follow. The step recorder will be best option for it. For that, search steps recorder and open the app. And click on start record. Now whatever task you do it will start recording. As you click on stop recording, you will see a document. In that it will show all the process, which you have done, along with screenshots. You can save it as zip file. Next feature is dark theme. For that, click on settings. Click on personalization. Choose colors. Now choose your mode. We can set light, dark or custom mode. Dark mode will look like this. It will be applied on browsers too. This way even sites will adopt dark theme. For now I will set light mode. Except that you can choose custom mode also. In custom mode you can set windows mode and app mode differently. This way you can set light or dark mode. Next feature is starting apps. Sometimes your operating system boot takes much time. It might be possible due to much starting apps. We can make it faster. By turn off unwanted apps at Windows Startup. Click on Settings. Click on Apps, then click on Startup. Here you can see the program list of apps which start at startup of Windows. You can make off unwanted apps to make your boot time faster. Next feature is dictation with auto punctuation. To use it we have to press Windows plus H. But before that, we have to make a new text document to write the audio which we speak. Now press Windows plus H and start speaking. Microsoft has been slowly making the control panel obsolete, and more pages are moving to the Windows settings app. It looks like the next Windows 11 update, possibly a cumulative or minor feature update will redirect more pages from the control panel to the settings app. With Windows 11, Microsoft redesigned a settings app and started the transition to the new experience. In many ways, Windows 11 feature upgrade simplified a lot of features for users, as it migrated every little feature available in the control panel to the Windows settings. As we can see it writes correctly all the text as we we speak with punctuation. So, this can be a useful tool for converting voice to text. Now let's discuss about some shortcuts. Windows 11 has some new shortcuts like Windows plus W. 
It opens widgets panel, if you are sign in then you can see those widgets at left side of screen. If you press Windows plus AA means Action Center which was in Windows 10. But in Windows 11 there is no Action Center. So it will open some basic settings of your PC. Like setting up screen brightness, adjusting audio, airplane mode, Wi-Fi or focus assistant. Another shortcut is Windows plus N. It opens Notification Center and Calendar. Now let's discuss about Taskbar. Right-click on Taskbar and you can access the Taskbar settings. You can unpin some unwanted apps like Search, Task View, or Chat option. Except that in Taskbar behavior you can align Taskbar from center to left like Windows 10. For now, I will move it back to the center. And if you want to hide taskbar then you can hide and hide it from here. Except that if you want to do some arrangement in right side icons of taskbar. Then click on taskbar settings. And click on taskbar corner overflow. It will open the taskbar corner overflow apps list. You can make any apps on or off. For example, I will make antivirus on then it will start showing an overflow. So, this way you can make adjustments in taskbar. That's all for this video, until the next one. To see more videos like this, please consider subscribing.